hope you all are having a wonderful, blessed day as always. So today I have a very special video I want to share with you. Um, it's going to be a Q&A and, &A and, um, and so I have a new supporter here on my channel and we have been talking through email for the past few weeks. She is also on her healing journey as well. She's um, about six months in and, um, and she also is dealing with skin cancer, melanoma. Um, and it is on her leg, her ankle, I believe it was, on her ankle. And um, so she's probably a little bit younger than me, I believe. And she also has three kids like I do. And so we started chatting and there's just a lot of similarities with our stories and just the beginning of her um, journey and her finding Dr. Morris like I did. Um, and then I, I just feel so blessed that she found my channel. But she had some really great questions and so I thought, you know, this would be great for me just to make a video on it because um, there might be some of you that have the same questions. Um, but she really wanted to dive in the first year because like I said, she's six months in um, and just dealing with all these emotions uh, when you're first starting out on this healing journey, it could be so extremely scary. Um, and going back to when I was diagnosed, um, it was just all about fear for me. And um, if you notice, that's how people control people is through fear. And um, and I was definitely, um, I felt like I was definitely being controlled at the beginning of my healing journey. This is before I found Dr. Morris and, um, and at the time when I did get my diagnosis, I also, had my um, my sister-in-law was going through breast cancer at the time and so I watched her go down that path of chemo radiation um, and just a horrible just very scary and not a joyful path at all um, and when I got my diagnosis I just thought oh oh here we go it's my turn now to go down that path because I didn't realize there was this whole other side of healing um, I just didn't know there was another path. And so, of course, um, when I first got this diagnosis, I thought, oh, great, you know, here we go. I was terrified. I, I, I was just so lost. And, um, and of course you think, okay, is this how I'm going to die? You know, I'm, I, I've watched so many people go down this path of chemo and radiation. It never ends well. Um, and, and so I just, I did, I just dove into just praying a lot and, um, and I just truly believe that God just helped me find Dr. Morris and, um, helped me find this other side of healing. Um, and so one of her questions was, how did I feel? Was I scared at the beginning of my healing journey? I was terrified. Um, but as soon as I started watching Dr. Morris and his videos and Crispy Cancer and all these other souls that were healing themselves and they looked so vibrant, um, that, that gave me hope. Um, and I really did feel like, um, what do I have to lose? You know, um, this side of healing just looked amazing and, and almost fun. Uh, you know, healing the body, getting healthy. Uh, and so I just, I just wanted to try that first. And her next question was, did I have doubts? Um, of course, I had no idea this side of healing was going to work for me. Um, and, uh, and, but I just, I knew I didn't want to go down the same path as my sister-in-law did um like i said it just it it was just so full of fear and um and i was i was literally terrified to go down that path um and that really um kept me focused on uh what dr morse was like talking about and just all the hope in um in just healing the body and um, and just knowledge, getting knowledgeable. That was one of the most powerful tools that I could express to anyone who ever gets a diagnosis. So if you ever, ever get a diagnosis, um, I don't care what it is, always 
do your research and um and you know for me i would say you know follow dr morris uh uh crispy cancer uh john rose uh raw foodists out there raw christina the life regenerator guy um all these people all these souls out there chris carr is another one um and they are just amazing warrior people in this universe <laughs> on this planet and um and that was the hope that was what i just grasped to um on my healing journey and um and then once i started getting that knowledge the fear started going away um especially the second year of my detoxification um that second year really was profound because um my back pain was gone uh, it was out of the sciatic nerve. I had the lump and my neck was gone. Um, I believe that's when the moles came up. It might've been the third year when the moles fell off. Um, and just when I just started seeing my body eliminating, and that's the key to healing is elimination. If you don't understand the lymph system and eliminating, toxins the trash out of the body you will never understand true healing what you don't eliminate you accumulate in the body and those acids and all that trash it doesn't just disintegrate within the body it builds up and all that mucus it just builds up and builds up in the body and you see it you i mean when you look at a person, you can either see um, health, vibrant health, and, and that was the thing when I was following these people, I they looked so healthy and vibrant, and that's what I wanted. I didn't want to look sick and weak. That is not healing to me. Um, and, and that's what kept me on track. And that was one of her next questions was, um, how did I feel empowered on this journey? Um, and that was, that was how I kept empowered is the way I felt, the way I looked, I was listening to my body. And like I said, I didn't like what I saw when I would see people who did chemo radiation. It is a weak, fearful thing. And I just didn't want no part of it. Um, sorry for my passion, but that's, that's how I felt when when I would see these people who are healing and they're eating good and, and they're eliminating toxins and they're hydrating the body. I mean, it just really makes sense. And that is what kept me on this path is just um, feeling good and, and doing my research and listening to Dr. Morse's videos, because like I did, like you, Gerda, um, you said you would binge on his videos. Oh, that's all I did. Everything I did. I, I mean, I would sit in the tub and I'd listen to his videos. I was walking. Um, I would listen to his videos when I'm driving anywhere. I was listening to his videos. It was just, um, it, and if you notice a lot of his videos, he repeats himself, but it does, it starts because for me too, like I have to hear it over and over and over again for me to really understand it and grasp it. Um, so um, I never got bored with his videos. I love how he repeats himself um, because healing the body is is really simple. Um, and I really do feel like if we complicate it too much, which is so easy to do, even when you're on this nature path way, holistic way, you just want to try. I've tried so many things, just dabbling. Um, um, but I always went back to simplicity uh, with my diet, and um, and that and that really is um, key when we are healing our body. So her next question was, um, how long did it take to see changes um, with the back pains, with my moles falling off? Um, and, and it was, it was probably around the second year, uh, when I really saw changes. Um, and another thing too, that, um, I really am starting to believe is having my breast implants this whole time has really suppressed 
and slow down my healing journey to get to my goal. Um, and I'm going to make another video on this. These implants had such a more impact on me than I uh, realized. And so um, I believe that if I would have gotten these taken out, you know, maybe the first year just cleaning my body up and getting my um, blood pressure up a little bit, going after my kidneys and my adrenals, um, I would have definitely that second year I would have gotten the implants out then. Um, I did not realize uh, these implants, I know now <laughs> that these implants, we should never ever put these in our body. I don't care how good you eat. This is not natural and our body knows it and um, and it will suppress your lymphatic system. It did for me. Um, now I can't speak for everyone, but um, like I said, I'm sharing my experience and having these implants affected my lymphatic system big time. And so Gerda, your, your healing journey might not be as long as mine too. Um, now I, I can't say that it won't, but, um, but I really do feel like having my breast implants really held my um, journey to heal a lot faster. It really did slow my progress down a lot. Um, and so um, that gives, that should give you hope also. Um, so I'm, you know, I just, just stay encouraged and be a warrior and um, just get those disciplined pants on, get on the bull, ride it out. Um, healing can be so fun, especially when you do start seeing changes within the body. Um, I know it's hard because you don't see them right away because like I said, the first year, it's like you're cleaning, you're cleaning out just a lot of the toxins and stuff. And, and not to say you won't see a difference right away because when you get a lot of that mucus out at the beginning, um, you start feeling pretty good. And so you just take it day by day. Um, and like I said, just um, like I, I always just watched people who inspired me and kept me on the right track. Um, and, and that is the hope. Um, and yeah, and you will get your remedy. And, uh, but yeah, there's, there's just a few things like that, that really just kept me on track. And another thing too, I want to, um, talk to you guys about too, is the first year of me, my detox journey, I really kept to myself. Um, I really kind of stayed in my own little bubble for a while because I did notice when I would um, tell people what I'm doing, their eyes would get really big and they'd be like, oh, are you sure you're doing the right thing? And, um, and just like that, um, it really put me back into that fear mode. And, um, and I just, I knew that fear just really suppressed my healing. Um, and so I really avoided telling many people of what I was doing. Um, uh, that was definitely, um, something I, I did. I mean, I did tell, you know, some of my family, but, um, other than that, um, I never posted anything like on my Facebook. Um, I never, I didn't tell anybody really what I was doing, um, until I started seeing, changes within my body and I was like oh yeah and then when I got the um, thermal scan done and there was no sign of cancer I was like oh my god okay now I can really kind of be more bold but um and you're gonna see too like because I feel like I'm getting to my finish line um and when I get these lumps out of my neck I will become even more bolder in my healing journey because um, I know that that that's it. That's the end of my healing. Um, and I really feel like it's going to be soon. So getting these breast implants out has been the greatest decision. Um, and the only regret that I have with these is I wish I would have gotten them taken out a long time ago. Um, I wish I never got them in the first place. but. It's how we live and learn, right? Um, so anyways, um, so Gerda, um, I just want to tell you how proud I am of you and taking your own life into your own hands and you are a warrior woman and you are taking charge 
and um, and that's what this is about. Um, uh, you are the captain of your ship. This is your temple. You live in this temple. You're the one stuck in here. Like I am stuck in this temple and I am going to take care of this temple while I'm here. Um, this is, if this doesn't work right, life is not fun. Um, and so I'm just, I'm, I'm just so grateful that you found my channel and we can connect and motivate each other. Um, and I know you and I will stay in contact and, um, maybe I can do some updates of your healing journey here on my channel. Uh, because you know, you just never know who you're who your story can help. Um, our experiences are so powerful and I just get so excited when I meet souls like you and just so many beautiful souls on my channel. I just feel so incredibly blessed that I have met you guys and, and just your support and your encouragement. It really does help a lot um, and we need that for each other. Um, so Gerda, just stay on that bull. You are doing freaking awesome and um, and I'm so proud of you and um, just just keep doing your research and keep hitting it the fruit um, hydrating elimination and you will get your remedy okay so I'm gonna go ahead and in there love you guys all so much and you guys all have a wonderful blessed day as always and I'll see you in the next video you guys all take care bye bye